This is the develop your skills 2 4 on page 28. We are going to add in some services and prizes for our Puppy Love account. So we're going to start by choosing the gear menu. We're going to go to lists here, and then underneath that is all lists. So we're going to click on all lists. And then we want to find product categories. So if we keep looking, product categories is down here on the left hand side. So once you find that product categories button, we're going to click on it and the pop up should appear. Oh, says there's no categories because we haven't made any. So then we're going to click new category, this green button in the top right hand corner. We're going to name our new category, full pet room. Once we have that added, we're gonna click save. And you'll see now we have our first category listed. We're gonna go ahead and add a couple more categories. So we're gonna click new category again. The next category we are going to name is mini. Pet groom. Once you have mini pet groom, you're going to save that. So now we have two categories here. We're going to click new category one more time, and we are going to add bath and brush. We're going to click save down here in the corner. And then we're gonna click this product and services button right here that's blue in our top left-hand side of our screen. So that's gonna take us to this product and services list. We are going to click this green add product or service. Pops up with an another menu over here on the right hand side we are going to add a service so we're going to click service and it's going to pop up with some information for us to fill in we are going to name this small the category we want is a full pet groom if you start typing that it should pop up with the category for you we want to leave this checked that we are going to sell this product or service And then underneath the description, we're gonna say full pet groom, comma, small. Make sure that our income account, we don't want it to say sales, we want pooch services. All right, here. And then the price we want $40, we can just type 40. So the name was small, the category was full pet groom, the description was full pet groom comma small. $40 was our sale, sales price and the income account, make sure you change that to pooch services. And then we're going to click save and close. Now we're gonna go back through and we are going to add some more. We're gonna do the same exact thing for small we just did the small, we're gonna add the medium, large, and extra large. So again, to do that, we're going to click new. We want a service. This time we're gonna name it medium. The category is going to be full pet groom. The description is going to be full pet groom, comma, medium this time. Our sales price for a medium would be $45. And again, change that account to be pooch services. So medium, full pet groom, full pet groom, comma, medium, and then pooch services for $45. I'm just going to click save and new to bring up another service. This time I want a large. The description is gonna be full pet groom again. The description is gonna be full pet groom. 
comma large. The large pet room is going to be $55 and the income account is going to be pooch services. So again, once I've changed those five things, I'm going to, since I have another one to enter, I'm gonna hit oops, save and new again. And this time I want to be extra large. Again, adding it to the category full pet groom. And then my description full pet groom comma extra large. Sales price is going to be $75 and my income account is going to be pooch services. This time, instead of selecting save and new, since this is the last service I wanna add in, I'm gonna hit this drop down and I'm going to say save and close. So you'll see I have quite a list of services already created and it didn't take us hardly any time at all. On the next page, we are going to create a report so that Sadie can see the result of all of our categories. So we're going to click the run report button from this more menu. So up here in the top right hand corner, you can see this more drop downs to an option of run report. So we're gonna click run report. Here we have the option to export it. We can print it, you can email it. In this case, we're not actually going to send it anywhere or save it. Just make sure you have all of this information on your product and services list. We're gonna click back to report list at the top. And then our book instructs us to return to the dashboard. Once you return to the dashboard, that's going to finish up the develop your skills 2-4.